Uh, Svi, you came in kind of midway through the season and just want to ask you as you kind of look back at these last few months, uh, what, what has this whole experience been like for you? Um, how easy was it or, or challenging to just become one of the guys and, and become part of the You kind of broke up there at the end, Gav. Can you finish that question off? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Just, you know, um, as you look back, how easy was it to just become a part of the group and, and fit in with the team uh, once you got here? Uh, I mean, everybody will make it easier. Uh, I feel like organization, coaching staff, players, everybody around us, everybody around me uh, made it a lot easier for me to adjust and, you know, just come in and play, get on basketball and be a part of a team. Barry Trammell with the Oklahoman. SV, how much do you think you raised your stock as an NBA player in the three months you were with the Thunder? Uh, I feel like I did raise it because I showed uh, I can do a lot of different things than, than just shoot the ball. And uh, my main thing is a shooter, so I got I to gotta go from that. But uh, like you said, I feel like I, I did it for a little bit. And, uh, you know, I'm not... Uh, I'm not just a shooter who just stand, stand still and shoot, but I uh, said so I shoot the ball and make plays for other people and make the right plays, play hard, uh, guard my position. Here's Lawson with OKCThunder.com. Yes, we talk about, you know, being more than just a shooter. You had a lot of different opportunities there at the end of the season, you know, handling the ball and, and obviously everything that you were able to do on the offensive end. Is there one area that you feel like you were able to grow the most in your game? Uh, I would say just overall, just well-rounded, just become more well-rounded player, and uh, you know, just being being a part of this team, it helped me a lot. Uh, and you know, playing playing with the guys, uh, we have we have a good team. Everybody unselfish, everybody playing the right way, everybody trying to make the right decision every time with the ball, with all the ball. So I feel like it helped a lot. Joe Masato with the Oklahoma. See, how are you approaching being a restricted free agent this offseason and sort of the uncertainty that comes with that? Uh, I mean, it is what it is. I just, I'm going to take some time off and, uh, you know, definitely love love being here. Uh, definitely love the team, love the city, love the organization. But, uh, you know, everybody knows business and, uh, you know, I just, we'll see what it's going to be. Mm-hmm. Given what you just said, do you see the Thunder as a potential long-term fit for you? Uh, I would say so. I love it here. Uh, like I said, I love their organization, I love the team, I uh, love the coaches, love the players. Uh, I feel like it's been a great fit so far. You hardly got to play with Shea just based on the, the trade and his injury, but as far as what you can do spacing around him, like, are you looking forward to that potential fit and, and uh, just how you guys can play off each other? Uh, for sure. You know, he's, a, he's an all-star, all-star caliber player. And, uh, you know, he's only 22. He's definitely going to be getting better from year to year. And uh, I feel like he's going to be really interesting. Logan Newman with Thunderwire. Hey, Steve. Is there something specific about this team or environment that allowed you to play better than you than you were in Detroit? Uh, I would say it's two great organizations. Everybody, everybody doing what they're supposed to do, uh, and just have to play a little better here and there.